How many of you have been delaying your purchase of your security system because you're afraid of the complexity or the time it's gonna to take to install it? Let's see how long it actually takes to install a security system. Today we're gonna to set up the real link doorbell camera. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is remove your old doorbell. When you have the doorbell removed, you'll have two wires coming out and you'll need to make sure that they are running about 24 volts. Once you hook it up, you may want to put some caulk around the outside of the unit to make sure that you don't have any water coming in or things like that. Uh, it depends on the surface that you're mounting to whether or not you'll need to do that. As soon as the unit is powered on, you'll need to follow the instructions that are prompted on the unit. Welcome to Reolink. Please install the Reolink app and scan the QR code on the camera. Willkommen bei Reolink. Bitte Reolink app installieren und den QR code on the camera. Just download the app from the Play Store or the App Store. In my case, it's the Play Store because I'm on Android. We've got the Reolink app. This is what it looks like. You click install. Give it a moment to download and install. Okay, now once you have it installed, you'll add the camera by pushing the plus button in the top right hand corner. It's gonna request permissions to your camera so that you can scan the QR code on the back of the new camera that you're installing. Once you've granted those permissions, you'll need to scan the QR code on the back of the camera. And then the camera settings will pop up to connect this camera to the network. In this case, you, I chose Wi-Fi, and you'll follow the prompts here to get started. Choose your network, choose your password, and then it's gonna prompt you to actually scan the image that's on your phone with the camera that's on the security camera, in this case, the doorbell. What that does is it sends the settings to the doorbell camera so that it can actually connect to the Wi-Fi then it'll take a moment to connect to the Wi-Fi. The camera will let you know when it's connected through a voice prompt saying successfully connected to the router. At that point, your camera is on the network and you'll follow the rest of the prompts on the screen. I suggest you go ahead and create a username and password uh, so that you have adequate security on the camera device so others can't access it. It'll prompt you then to connect the ringer, uh, the doorbell ring itself, which is gonna be inside the house, to an outlet. Uh, after that, you'll push the ring button on the outside of the doorbell, and it'll actually ring the doorbell so you can make sure it works. Um, the next prompts, I feel, are out of order. Now it tells you how to install the real link doorbell. In this case, it shows drilling the holes, installing the device, attaching the cables, how to position it, uh, these items, I feel, should be, have been at the beginning um, because it didn't have power prior to installing it in my case. So I've already done the installation, as you can tell, and uh, this will be for your reference. Um, I'll let the instructions play here. All right. Now we're completed with the install, and you can see the camera is functioning. You'll want to enable push notifications on your device so that when someone rings the doorbell or motion is detected, you get that notification on your mobile device. You can set the push interval to limit the amount of alerts you get for the same motion that's been detected if someone is continuing to stand at the front door. The total time of install for the hardware was about 10 minutes. Assuming you have all of your tools on hand, you should be able to complete this in about 10 minutes. The installation of the software and configuring the real link doorbell within the application took a total of uh, about four minutes to complete. Overall, I would say this is a difficulty level of about a three out of 10. Very easy install. The application guides you through the setup. I don't believe anyone would have any problems with this setup. It does alert you that you should have a licensed electrician do the install 
If you're not comfortable doing this yourself, please find a licensed electrician in your area that can assist you with this. Out of all of the real link security cameras, this one is probably the most difficult to install because it does get wired into your doorbell. The other real link cameras that are available can connect to regular 110 power with a plug and connect your Wi-Fi. They're also guided with instructions on how to connect them to the real link app and to your Wi-Fi. Again, those are much easier than this unit. I'm going to link below to the devices that we talked about today, including this doorbell and some security systems from Real Link that you should take a look at. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.